Hello. I am Onishto, from planet Koshnik, which is about 1,200 light years from Earth in the direction of the Orion star constellation. There are many many other beings in the universe, some from Orion, some from the Pleiades, and many from other places. I first traveled to your planet in your Earth year of 1971. I was sent here on a tour of duty assignment to work in one of the many undersea bases my species have established here on Earth. When my craft entered Earth's atmosphere, I arrived near the north side of an island you call Puerto Rico near Bayamon and Aguas Buenas. The north of Puerto Rico is favorable for our operations because it is highly magnetic and helps trap energy that we need to leave your atmosphere. The most favorable times for travel are usually around the middle of March and the middle of September for leaving and coming. That is when others come and replace those about to leave. There is constant space traffic in your atmosphere of members of my species arriving and departing from your planet. Constantly, new members of my species are arriving to planet Earth to work in the undersea bases, and other workers of my species depart from planet Earth to return home to planet Koshnik, because we are only allowed to be on Earth for six months at a time, because we cannot be exposed to your environment for too long. Also it cripples our civilization on planet Koshnik if all of our scientists are gone for too long. I do not like to speak verbally too much. I much prefer telepathic communication, so if you do not mind, come close, let us mind link. It only takes us about four hours of human time to come to planet Earth from planet Koshnik in the Orion star constellation, because we travel in the seventh and eighth dimensions. I know these higher dimensions are unknown to Earth humans, but my species are aware of 13 dimensions of being. One hour of your time compares to 200,000 hours of our time in our own dimension. Molecular structures can be made to travel in a linear direction at up to 7 times the speed of light. The average intelligence of my species would be over 200 by your Earth human scales. The normal span of life for my species is about 800 to 1000 of your Earth years. Our scientists have made it so that we can continue life forever with only one cell of the body. You humans are limited in time and space, and therefore I can only communicate to you about simple things. If only you could comprehend the law of the speed of thought or the law of parallels between matter and antimatter in the universe, maybe then you would overstand the reason why humans die. There are many references in your Earth Bible pertaining to UFOs. This is why when I arrived on Earth in 1971, I made contact with a Southern Baptist minister named Reverend David Melendez Del Mundo, because I knew that his faith in the Bible would make him more understanding and more receptive to the urgent message I had to communicate to him. Members of my species can tell when someone is lying because we can see a red light emitting from your head. Reverend Del Mundo was an honest man, so I took him on a ride in one of our vehicles and allowed him to tour our undersea bases. This was all leading up to communicating to him, the same message that I am about to communicate to you now, and that message is about the purpose of our mission. We are not allowed to communicate this message through speech. We are only allowed to communicate this message telepathically. Come close, let us mind link. Our species, as well as many other species throughout the universe, have been studying and recording the activities taking place here on planet Earth. The axis of the Earth has changed four times, and tilts about every 20 to 25 centuries. Any time this axis shift has occurred in the past, there have been massive losses of life on planet Earth. We were requested by higher forces to aid and help Earth during this time. We are standing by to assist and help prevent the total loss of life on Earth in these catastrophes, to aid in the regrowth of humanity on a new scale. In order to accomplish this, we have been abducting and upgrading human biology and genetics to be able to withstand the coming disasters. Please be advised once and for all, that the tragic moments expected, are too soon, and although this society is cherished much, because of circumstances beyond your understanding, we have no choice but to proceed in accordance to our plans. Thank you. You will be hearing from us more often, from different people, 
and in different ways, from mouth to ear, and from mind to mind. Best regards. Onesh Toe.